In this video, we'll take a look at placing an electrical distribution panel. So in the previous videos, we set up our work set, created files, registered our file with the electrical database, set up the building structure. And in this one, we're gonna place this distribution panel. Now, in the previous video to this one, we saw where we can go up to the building properties. We have the spaces again, in the previous video that were imported in from the architectural model, this distribution panel will be placed in the electrical room. And we saw in the previous video where we can use this building manager to navigate around in our, our model here. So I'll choose the electrical room, room number 106 there. And down here we have that uh, display room shape, which it will zoom any views that you have open to that particular space and it puts that green outline on it in the views just a temporary thing while you're using this tool so i can see in view two which is in a top orientation uh, there's the electrical room view three is in a front orientation so we're seeing just that outline of it edge on down here and i've got view one rotated off of the true isometric orientation but there you can see the electrical room also to note, view one is in a display style, more of a rendered display style, and it's in illustration ignore lighting, whereas two and three are in wireframe display style. You can always check if you're not sure which display style is in use. If you go to the view attributes, right at the top of the view attributes, oh, I need to uh, right click to get back to that building properties dialog box. As you can see, when I click over here on the view attributes, it, it looks like nothing's happening. Well, that's that's Ecosim Building Designer Electrical. The way that these dialog boxes are modal, I need to dismiss that dialog box. So after I do that, hit the magnifying glass tool to zoom in to the areas, I'm doing a reset or a right click on my mouse. And there we see there's the building manager back. You can see how that, that outline goes away, and I can uh, exit out of the building manager. So back to the display styles. If I come to the view attributes over here, you'll see right up at the top, it tells you the display style. You know, I'll go ahead and change this to illustration, ignore lighting. So a little bit different from just the illustration one there. Now up in the ribbon interface, We've got our electrical tab, and we saw in previous videos where we load electrical once we get into Ecosim Building Designer to get us access to these tools. And I'll use this very first tool here in the symbols group called Place. So when we choose Place, we come to the Symbol Manager. So the Symbol Manager is used throughout many of these placement tools that you'll see in other videos after this one and the symbol manager will present itself a little bit differently depending on which tool you're using so with this place tool this is really just the basic place tool I, this is what the symbol manager looks like and the first time you open it this symbol library that we have and i'm using the delivered symbol library for United States standards, which is the ANSI Y32.9-1972 symbol library. I can expand that, and then you see how it's organized here into categories. So I'll choose the distribution category, expand that. And then underneath the categories, we have groups. So in this case, I'll choose panel boards, switch boards, and related. You see over on the right now, the different symbols available from that group. And I'm going to choose this 36 inch surface mounted panel board. So we'll highlight it over here in the list. I'm setting my height setting down here to three feet. So the name of this panel board, the 36 inches, that's part of the name of it, but that's indicating to me that it's 36 inches tall. And then the height setting is where I set the bottom location of the panel 
offset from the floor on this floor that I'm working on. So I'll set OK right here. Now in this group, the distribution group over here, there's different levels that we can assign this to. So our CAD levels, I like to think of them as. So you can see I've got alarm equipment, bell equipment, etc., etc. In this case, I'll choose the E-light panel. So anytime you have different levels that you could put these components on, now some of them might just have one level. So if there's only one level assigned to the group, then this dialog box would not come up. It would just go right onto that level. But since this group has multiple levels I can utilize, I need to select it from this list. So I'll choose E-light panel. This will be a lighting panel. I'll say OK. Then you'll see we get this next dialog box, which is the dimensions for the length and the width of it. And the length is, you know, the from left to right if I were facing it. And then the width is that third dimension. So the 36 inches tall, three feet long, and then one foot wide. I'll say OK there. And as soon as I do that, I see it, it is on my cursor here. So I want to get it placed onto the north wall of this electrical room. So I'm changing my snap mode from the status bar down here. I'll come down to the snaps icon to nearest, which just allows me to get a point snapped onto that wall. And we can always move the panel later if we need to. And then it's wanting to know how, how does it want to be rotated in there. And I'll just use AccuDraw here. I'll just move my cursor to the right. Now it's showing me information about the wall that I'm hovering over there. But you can see back there how uh, AccuDraw is indexing that X direction. So I know I get my panel in there correctly. So I left click or data point to accept that point. You can see I could place another one, but I'll just reset or right click and then that will send me back to the symbol manager. And from here, I could choose a different panel or any other symbols to place here. In this case, I'll just say cancel to say I'm done with it. And that is placing a distribution panel in our electrical model. So if you go on to the next set of videos, the next course in the these videos, we'll take a look at many more of these placement tools up here and how some of them we can do like arrangements for our light fixtures, um, various methods for getting these symbols placed. Thanks a lot. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.